Jared or Ashley, and instead of doing a vlog for the end of uh, day 10 of the readathon, I figured I would just do a wrap up because I'm pretty much done. I finished all the challenges. Um, I had fun doing it. I hope you guys had a great time doing it. Um, I had a great time doing it. I had a great time talking with everybody in the chat. Um, I had a great time doing the chat with you guys. I had a great time doing the vlogs. It was really nice to actually sit here and actually vlog with you, like to make a vlog every day because it actually made me want to get dressed because normally I just like throw on like PJs or whatever and just chill in the house. So it made me actually like want to get nice and dressed up for you guys and like it was actually like nice. Um, so me and Lori are definitely talking about doing a Christmas one um, because we had such a great turnout. Um, I'll definitely put everybody's figure out what everybody what who did what challenges and then figure out who's the, like who's gonna be entered into the giveaway and we'll do all that stuff. Um, uh, what else was I gonna say? But yeah, I definitely had a great time. Um, I hope you guys liked the day in life of my animals. That video was so much fun to film um, and great to have it on my channel. As like I look back and think about stuff, like it was just such a cute thing to have on my channel. It was so so cute. Um, so that was awesome to have on my channel. And yeah, this readathon was just so much fun. Like I see everybody else do readathons and when we get better at doing them, we'll have more like challenges and stuff like that because I did know that we were kind of lacking like video challenges and stuff like that, but this is our first readathon, so I hope that we'll get better with that. But I just had so much fun. Um, so like so, so much fun. And I know a lot of people said it helped them with their TBR and get some books off their TBR. And for me, it helped me because I actually got 50 books done. So yay, for me, 50 books. Um, so I'm happy about that. And I got some books off my T off my TBR, so I was really happy about that. Um, and I got books that I got from the library read, so I'm happy about that. Um, I don't know if I, don't think I showed you my outfit of the day. Um, because I know I was going to like show you the outfits of the day. So I'm wearing like these leopard pants, well, animal print pants. And I'm wearing this shirt that I got from, uh, Amanda. She made it for me. Um, and then I just tied it because it's really big. Um, I'll actually probably do an outfit of the day before I do this clip, just so you guys can see it. Um, because this one's really, this is really cute. I love this shirt so much. It has Harry on it with a little lightning bolt. Um, she's actually, I actually asked her if she could work on a logo for my channel. Because I kind of want to have like a logo. And since my new, like, quote every time I end my videos is, uh, make love not whole cruxes and be sweet and kind to each other. That's like my new quote now. Um, I want to put that on a shirt and, um, have a logo with like maybe like a stack of books and then my glasses because I'm a book nerd and book babe. So, um, and they're gonna be really cute, but I'm rambling. So let's go. I do have an unboxing. Um, I have one unboxing. It literally took till six o'clock to get here. Uh, because for some reason it shipped by Amazon instead of like the regular UPS or like, um, United States Postal Service. So it took forever. I'm watching American Horror Story season uh four episode four uh, uh the, the freak show i've been re-watching all of them because i just i love american horror story because your girl loves horror so i just go back and rewatch them like periodically so now i'm on a freak show so let me go ahead and tell you all the challenges i did and i'll go and tell you my books if i was slow down talking a little bit or if i'm like a little bit slow it's because my tooth right here is killing me oh my god so so much i think i have a cavity in the tooth right over where I don't have one. It's like in the back, I think. Oh, it literally kills so bad. Okay, so read a spooky book eating your favorite Halloween candy. Um, for that one, uh, did I switch? Yeah, I actually switched. I switched my TBR a little bit around because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to finish books and I wanted to finish all the challenges. Because if I'm making the readathon, how am I not gonna be able to finish all the, you know, finish all of the challenges? So read a spooky book and eat your favorite Halloween candy. That one um was Thunderhead. And my candy, I don't have it because I threw it out, was um Reese's peanut butter, like the Reese's pumpkins. Um and I read Thunderhead. I finished this. I love this book. I gave it five stars. I don't rate books six stars, but um, I might start next year, and if I did, 
Um, I would definitely rate really this a six star book because this is definitely a six star book. Um, it was amazing, very dark, um, and I love dark books. Um, very, I didn't know what was going to happen. It wasn't something like, oh, I know what's going to happen. Because I hate when I read books, I'm like, oh, I know that's going to happen, that's going to happen. This, I had no idea what was going to happen. Um, the twists and turns that happened in this book, the cliffhanger at the end of this book, oh my god. Um, I need the toll right away. Uh, I'm definitely going out. I was going to get the paperback so that, that they all match, because I have the siphon paperback, thunderhead and paperback, and I was going to get the toll and paperback. But... I was told by Lori that the uh, toll is going to be, the Barnes Noble um, edition is going to be annotated every single chapter by Neil uh, Schusterman and I don't know why I want to say Neil Gaiman, Neil Schusterman every chapter and why he did what he did in each chapter. So I think it's going to be amazing and awesome. And yes, I do want the Owl Crate one, the reason he's going to be signing it and how it's kind of changed here and there. But I don't think I'm going to get it because if it's before the first, I don't have money for it. So I'm not going to be able to get it. Um, so yeah, my books will be like soft, soft, and then hardcover. But it's fine, whatever. I'm not one of those like snobs. Um, so I'm definitely getting the, the Barnes Noble edition. And I'll probably vlog for you guys showing because they'll probably go to Buffalo Wild Wings, make a little trip out of it. But yeah, this book follows, if you haven't known, um, in this world there's no diseases. You can't die. You only die is the to be gleamed by these sites, they come and kill you, it's called gleaming, um, and it follows two apprentices, Citra and Rowan, uh, and the, the craziness that happens with them, and oh my god, is all I can say. If you have not read this book, you need to get your butt going and read this. I had the hard copy of Scythe for the longest time, I bought it, and I'm like, it's not what I want to read, it's not what I read, so I put it down, put it down, put it down. And Lori was doing a readathon, she's like, you need to read it, pick it up. And I was like, you know what, you do a readathon, I'm going to read it. And I fell in love with the world. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Like, every book that Lori, like, says I should pick up, I fall in love with. Like, she got me into Lee Bardugo, she got me into Neil Schusterman now. Like, girl, I love you. So, that was the book that I read for that challenge. Some of these books I don't have because I read them to the library, so I have to, like, post a picture. And then, uh, read a mystery book. For that one, I read The a Babysitter's Coven. <laughs> this one, I believe I gave on Goodreads a two star or a three star. I can't remember. Either two or three star. I can't. I'm not exactly sure. I might continue with the series. I might not. This follows Esme, and she has her own babysitter's club. And basically, she's just thinks that she has powers but some things happen sometimes um and then she meets this girl i can't think of her name um and she gets a note to find the babysitters uh so she finds them and they realize that they actually have powers and they're this like group of people that are supposed to like be a coven and take care of the world and stuff happens that you didn't think was going to happen um, some stuff was predictable, but the only thing I did not like about this book is it was very boring, and they didn't fight demons to, like, literally 50%, like, not even, like, 90% of the book was done. So, that's something I didn't like. So, I would not recommend this book if you're looking for, like, action-packed, go for Scythe, don't go for Babysitter's Coven. So, I that, and then... A book to keep you up all night. I had switched it because it was supposed to be Ninth House. I DNF Ninth House. I did not like Ninth House. It was too confusing. It didn't matter if it was dark because I like dark books, but it was just too confusing. I didn't like what was going on, so I DNF Ninth House. Uh, and then Turn of the Key, I was reading and I put that down. So the book I ended up uh, picking up and finishing. I know it doesn't look like I finished it because I didn't move it. I didn't actually take, take out the bookmark, but I did finish it. I actually need to take out my Stranger Things bookmark because I did finish it. I read it on audiobook. Uh, was The Priest by Sierra Simone. Oh, this book. Um, I liked her other book, uh, Thorn. Oh my god, what is it called? A Rose and a Thorn and Roses, I think it is. Um, I liked that book a lot. I had that book and this is and the reason why I got this book was because after I read that book I really liked that book a lot and I was like, you know what? I need to pick up her other books because it sounds really really good. Make sure that I actually got the right name. 
Yeah, they don't have it in here yet. Um, so Riley Marie talked about priest books. I'm like, this actually sounds really good. Like this guy, this guy is a priest, and like he's really falling for this girl that comes in and makes a confession. And like, how is he? He's struggling with like his faith, but he really loves her and wants to be with her. And I was like, this sounds really good. The premise sounds good, but basically all this book is is sex. <laughs> basically banging from like page one all the way to the end that's pretty much all this book is about um and as i do not mind sex in my books um i don't mind it at all but i do like substance in my books and the fact that in storyline and the fact that this kind of didn't really have anything like i could see that he was a priest and yes at sometimes he was kind of like oh should you know for me, if you're a priest and you're doing, a, like, if you're having feelings for another woman, but yet you're having sex with her, you should have more, like, feelings about what should I do with the church, and then not be like, oh, I need to have sex with her again. Like, right after he had sex with her, he was like, I need to do it again. It wasn't like he felt really bad about, you know, not, you know, being a priest and what god would think like he didn't think like that he just was like i want to have sex with her again i need her again so this book was basically just sex 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 like part of my language fucking from like the beginning to the end it's all this book was about um so i will not pick up the second book or the third book because i as much as i like the characters i did not like the story and it did not have substance for me so yeah there's that book all right, uh, read a book featuring your favorite Halloween character. For that one, you would be Sabrina, C Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, but I don't know what it's what it called. Sabrina, Season of Witches. Put the picture here because I don't have it. Um, that one, I gave a one star, I think, or like, I think it was, I think it was a one star on Goodreads. I hated it. I felt I had no story. I felt it was boring. At times I wanted to DNF it. It was just a horrible book. I didn't like it. Um, I'm not critical, I'm not so mean on authors, but this book was just boring to me. Like I just felt like I was literally like it was a chore to read this book. It wasn't a good book at all. And I like the old Sabrina and this was just her and how she did a spell on Harvey to make her love her more. and. And her Aunt Zelda and Hilda were mean, and that Aunt Zelda killed Aunt Hilda every day. And it was just, it's not the Sabrina I grew up with. I don't like this dark Sabrina. Yes, I do like dark stuff, but I do not like this Sabrina. So I did not like that book. Okay, read or watch Hocus Pocus. I watched Hocus Pocus, as you saw. Uh, watch your favorite movie. I watched Saw, J uh, Jigsaw, and I found out that they are uh, making another Saw movie. So I'm super excited. It'll be out um, I think May of next year and Chris Rock is going to be starring in it and directing it. So how that's going to go, I don't know because he's kind of funny. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't take a comedic turn. I'm hoping it stays like gritty and like raw like how Saw is. Um, and I'm hoping that I really love it. Like I really do because I love Saw. So I'm so excited about a Saw sequel. Um, and then seven, read a book that has a, the color of the pumpkin on it. And for that, I read the cat book, which was like, the, does the, will the cat lick my eyeball? Is that like really for me a traumatic, I don't know why I picked it up, book about like death, because <laughs> death is like my thing that scares me, um, about like different questions about like, if you ate a bag of popcorn and you got cremated, what would happen? Like, it was just very creepy stuff to read, and I don't like to talk about death. So that was very not a book I should have picked up, but I read that. So that was my readathon. I completed all seven challenges. I got all seven pieces of candy. Did not have the greatest books to read, but I got them. I got them off my TBR. I hit my fifty books for the year, and I'm still going. So I'm happy about that. So yay, yay for me. <laughs> all right now let's get into my small 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 unboxing um this book i saw on riley marie's challenge ch challenge well channel love that girl love her channel um i watch her she's doing the spookathon i've been watching it every day 
Um, and she uh, did this video of dark romances. And I love dark romances. I don't like pure romances. Like, I, I, I do. But I like a really, like, dark romance. I like substance romance. I like romance that's just not pure romance. I like something to have, like, oh, like a crime involved and then the romance. Or, like, a mafia thing and then a romance. Like, I just don't want, like, boy meets girl. Boy falls in love with girl. Like, I don't like just a pure romance, you know? So this one is a dark romance. She did a whole dark romance recommendation. And this book was $12.99. <laughs> and I can't wait to get my Kindle because I could have got this on Kindle for like five bucks. But I paid $12.99 for it because I can't read it on my phone. And look how small it is. But uh, this is Desperate Measures by Katie, by Kate Robert. Um, and she's doing a villain series. So the second one is going to have Meg, Hades, I think. I think it's Meg, Hades, and Hercules. And it's going to be a polyamorous one. And this one is about Jafar and Jasmine. Um, and it's like a relationship, non-consent, consent relationship. Um, it says, my savior or my ruin. One night in my entire life went up in flames, all because of him, Jafar. As my world burned down around me, he offered me a choice. Walk away with nothing but my freedom or, or rise to his challenge and win my fortune back. I bargained. I lost. And now Jafar owns me. And even as my, my mind rails against his rules, my body loves the punishment. He delves out when I break them. But a gilded cage is still a prison. I'll do anything to obtain my freedom, even betray the man I'm falling for. So maybe like Stockholm Syndrome because she's falling for her captor. Um... I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think her dad sells her, the, the sultan sells her to Jafar, and Jafar burns down the castle. So he might actually burn the father down, I'm not sure. And then she's with him, and it's a bunch of sex happens, I'm assuming. Um, and Riley Marie said it was really good. Um, and anything with like Disney in it is really cool. It's called the Wicked Villain Novels. That's that that, that um, Kate Roberts is doing. Like I said, the next one is Megan, Meg, Hercules, and I think Hades. Cannot wait for that one. Um, and she does have other series that she has done. But this one says, it says, there was a warning. I'm trying to think where it was. What does it say? Does it tell me about the other, other ones in my series? No. Okay, so she hasn't named the other one. It says warning. This book contains depictions of consensual non-consent, non-consensual consent sex. So basically what that means is you consent to the sex, but it's non-consensual sex. Like there's a safe word, if she says it, it stops. So this sounds like really good. I cannot wait to read it. I'm picking it up right now to read it. I was waiting for like the Amazon people to drop it off. I was like looking at my window, tracking my package. I'm like, where is it? I want to read it. Um... But yeah, I cannot wait to read this. I'm reading it right now, actually. <laughs> uh, but this is what it looks like. Really cute cover. Um, I love the snake. Awesome. But yeah, that's everything. And that is my chiller thriller readathon wrap up and my vlog for uh, day 10. I don't think I'm going to vlog anything else because that's pretty much a long vlog. It's 18 minutes. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had fun with the with the, the yeah, with the chill through the readathon. I did too, and like I always say, make love in all crosses and be sweet and kind to each other. Bye, guys.